Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Kuwu. This is their digital wood clock. Uh, you can get it in two different colors. You can get a darker brown, which is the one I have, and you can also get more of a lighter uh, bamboo type color. Uh, and this is a digital clock that also will tell you the temperature and relative humidity. Uh, so you can set this up on your bedside table, kind of get uh, your temp the temperature of the room, the humidity in your house, and of course the time as well uh, with it being a digital clock. So you can check this out on Amazon at the time of this video for $23.99, and I'll have that link as always in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now it comes in a plain brown box here, so there's nothing really on the outside of the box to go over. So we'll get right into it. They give you the power cable. They do not give you a wall adapter for it. It will plug in USB. Uh, so I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but you'll have to supply your own power adapter uh, for this clock, which is really no problem. Uh, you know, any phone adapter that's a wall to USB adapter will work. Uh, so it's not uh, a big deal. And it is USB to DC 5 volt, uh, which will plug into the back here. So I'm going to unwrap this real quick just so that we can uh, turn it on and show you what it looks like. So I'll plug into my little adapter down here. And I like this clock. I think it's a, a perfect size for a bedside table. Uh, the LED will come up through this wood here, uh, as you'll see when I plug it in. On the back, you've got a compartment for four AAA batteries, so it will run off battery power if you want to, uh, and you can do that with four AAAs. They do not include those, and they do not include that wall adapter either. That's just one that I supplied, uh, so you'll have to have your own wall adapter. You can plug it into any laptop or PC USB port as well. There's your 5-volt, uh, DC 5-volt in right there. You've got an up and down and a set button to set the time and everything on the front. So if we plug it in real quick, I'll show you. As you can see, it shows up through the wood here. I think that's really cool that they do that. Uh, you know, you can set uh, the date as well. Uh, you know, right now it's in Celsius, so I'll have to uh, change it to Fahrenheit for me, but it's 54% uh, humidity in here. Uh, and it says 422. It's not 422 because I haven't set anything up. Uh, but very cool. Gives you the uh, uh, date as well, or at least the... There we go. Let's set this real quick. Now it's at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about right. I have my thermostat set at 73, so it's not too far off. Again, 54% humidity. Uh, comes through very well. Works very well. They give you a nice little booklet here as well. You can take a look at for the Kuwu a wood alarm clock. Uh, and again, they're going to show you uh, two display modes. Uh, switch with the set key. Uh, default is DP2. I changed mine over to DP1. DP1 is going to be humidity fixed display, time, temperature, and date display and turn. And DP2 is going to be temperature, humidity, and time fixed. Uh, so I actually like the fixed display. So I'm going to go to DP2 because I don't like it keep flashing back between the year and the uh, let me do that and see if that is correct. Should just be a static display at this point unless I did not set it correctly. Now it's got some heat from my hands as you can see it's gone up to 77 degrees. Uh, so the uh, temperature sensor in here is pretty accurate since I'm holding it in my hands it's actually getting that temperature off of my hands there. So now it is just relative humidity, temperature in Fahrenheit, and time which is the way I would have it displayed when I have it set up. Uh, you can easily set all of these if you want. Uh, 12 or 24 hour you can you obviously set your calendar date uh, from anywhere from uh, the year 2000 to uh, 2099. Uh, you have three alarms with a weekday alarm function on this. Uh, you can press on certain ones they have voice control on here on this one they do not so I'm not going to go over any of that. Uh, but very interesting. You can keep this manual because it's going to have all of the settings in here if you want to uh, mess around with the settings. But super easy to set up. Again, if I want to go in and set my clock, I just have to hit the uh, up and down buttons and set buttons to make sure that I've got my correct time in there. Uh, very nice wood grain here. Uh, and it is a real wood uh, as well, it looks to be. Uh, there is a seam here, uh, but it looks to be real wood to me uh, and not kind of just a overall uh, you know like a label or anything like that as I'm looking at the seam so they did a pretty cool job on this now don't uh, you know quote me on that I'm not quite sure because there is a seam right here but it doesn't look like 
it is uh, you know like a sticker put on any over anything. Uh, so they did pretty good. Now this front plate might be different because they have to allow the LED to get through. But overall, the build quality is actually pretty good on this, uh, and for a price of uh, $23.99, uh, it's very nice to have your uh, time, you know, three different alarms that you can set, uh, your humidity, so you know what the humidity is like, but more importantly, your temperature uh, in the room that you're in, so that's actually pretty cool. So I think they did an overall good job on this. It's got a nice presentation, uh, a, a nice wood grain to it. Uh, and it works very well. Uh, you saw that the temperature reacted to me, uh, even holding it, so they did a good job on that as well. So I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and this was the Kuwu Digital Alarm Clock with Humidity and Temperature Function. Uh, again, you can check it out on Amazon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.